Cat 2 with Chef Bud. Now he's combining fried chicken and sweet tea, right? You look like Brad Pitt and Moneyball there. Okay, first of all, I don't. Thank you, Steve. That's right. And Jeannie, I want to thank you for that nice shout out before um, during Tech Bites. Did you ask? Hello, Meredith. Good morning, Bud. How are you? Yeah. Well, oh, goodness. We're going to make this chicken up here. And but what chicken with a twist. Yes, with a twist. We brined it in uh, sweet tea overnight. Mm. Now, for those of you who don't know what brining is, right. and here's a good suggestion for you, especially if you have a wife like Mrs. Chef Bud. You want to make sure you put this in a in a bowl okay. when you put it in the fridge in a bag, and then put it in a bowl. That way, if the bag leaks, which it probably will, oh, you right. don't have a mess, have a mess. In the fridge. Yeah, this yeah. has happened many times. Oh, what a good husband for putting that in a bowl. Well, no, she yelled at me several times. So yeah, that's why I started oh, so doing you it. Learned it learned the hard way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't because I thought I just threw the bag in there, and after about three times, she's like, "How about we put this in something?" So, anyway, okay. So, you, what this is is this is water, um, some thyme, a little bit of sweet basil, some kosher salt and pepper. And then about three cups of water and two cups of sweet tea. Okay. okay. Now, brining adds flavor to the product, okay? And a lot of times, brining is done with salt. Most of the time, what you hear about is done with salt. Mm -hmm. But this we did with sweet tea, and it's going to add a sweetness. It's also going to make our chicken very moist, okay? Okay. So we got just some regular flour here. We're going to add a little bit of cornstarch. Really, there's cornstarch in there. Yeah. A little bit of cornstarch. I can stir that if you want me to. No, that's okay. We got this. And then a little bit of thyme and a don't little bit it. of basil. Yeah, don't touch it. A little bit of basil. And then some uh, uh, smoked paprika. Okay. And then also in this, there's some kosher salt and pepper because you cannot get enough flavor into your flour, uh, into your mixture, okay? Okay. Now, this is going to be the breading. Set this right here. Mm -hmm. And be very careful because that's hot. And okay. If, I, if something happened to you, I don't know what I'd do. Uh -huh. Okay. So now we've taken the chicken. You said we'd go out. viral. Shh. <laughs> we've taken the chicken. Don't tell people that. <laughs> we've taken chicken out and we've pat dried it with a towel. You're going to go into into the flour. Okay. Okay. Now this is buttermilk. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to put it into the buttermilk, and I did this backwards, but you always want to do a dry hand and a wet hand. Okay. Okay. So this hand's the wet hand. We'll take this back over here. Okay. And then you're going to bread it again. Okay. So you're double breading it. Okay. And then we're going to go. Into the oil. I'm yes, set that. It's gonna, it's gonna pop it's gonna a little, pop a little bit. Okay. 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 Now, now we're cooking with grease. Yeah. Now, just continue to do that. Uh -huh. Okay. And the big thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you get it coated really well. Okay. And the big thing about this is you go into the oil or into the, I'm sorry, into the uh, buttermilk and then back into here. So you're basically kind of double dipping it, uh -huh. and it breads it up and it makes for a really nice, uh, really nice uh, uh, breading. And a, and a very nice crisp breading. What okay. kind of oil do you fry? This is just canola oil. You can okay. use whatever, whatever you want. And about how long? Okay, about seven minutes on the side. Okay, mm -hmm. covered. And then we're gonna pull. We're gonna take the cover off for about five minutes to let it color it up. Okay. Okay. But be very careful when you do this with grease because again, the grease is one of those things that. Uh, Gotta be very careful. <laughs> now, how do you quick. put out a grease fire? Uh, I just usually run. No. <laughs> you throw some flour, something dry on it. Okay. Usually does it. Don't put water on it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't put water. Yeah, and you see that a Kids, lot. People are like, listen to Bud. We'll throw the oh, and uh, one other thing on this, you'll notice that the pieces we're using here, this is one of those stories you all tell me you like so much. Uh -huh. We're using um, all uh, breast and, and wings today. Okay. Do you know why, Anthony? I don't know why. When I was a young man at the Anderson home, okay. when we had fry, or Sunday we had fried chicken, I always sit to the right of my father. Okay. So there was always two chicken breasts that he always got. Oh, he's going to get the big one. So I ate thighs my whole life. Okay. I swore when I got older that I would eat chicken breasts as much as I wanted to. I eat very little dark meat. <laughs> okay. So Ma or Dad, thank you for scarring me for no. Seriously, I do. I eat a lot of chicken breasts, and that's one of the reasons why. Is because when I was a kid, the chicken breast always went to dad. You know, I mean, he worked hard. I well, guess. just as long as Chris, you know, like Chris Rock said, as long as he gets the big piece. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Can you exactly. give a dad a big, big piece? piece. Yeah. 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 And don't forget, good life, good food with Chef Bud. I mean, how we like to have from 15. How many? Nine. 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 Oh, we could do it today. Oh, nine likes. You could do it before 6:30. We could. Nine likes before 1500. All right, Bud. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Stick around. We've got more news coming up for you next. Good life, good food. Thanks. <laughs> All right, it's time to go back to Chef Bud, who's mixing sweet tea and fried chicken. Aerial photography provided by my, my, Miguel. But thank you so much. Or, Steve. 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 Whoever yes. you are. I got you on the run this morning. But I... <laughs> Steve, I love you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> good Life, Good Food, the Facebook. Yes, good right. Life, Good Food. He's four likes short of 1,500. We can do it before uh, 7 o'clock. How did you know that? The update at 659. Thanks, buddy. <laughs>
Okay, okay. we're finishing Good up like your food. sweet yes. okay, okay. tea fried right, chicken. Right, right. Let's get a shot of the chicken real quick. Okay. Can you see it frying Talk there? Talk about what's in the brine one okay, more time for the folks who There's it. two cup or three cups of water, two cups of sweet tea, a mm -hmm. little bit of thyme, a little bit of uh, sweet basil, some salt and pepper. Overnight, about ten, probably about ten hours. Uh -huh. okay? okay. And you're gonna get a real nice. You see, it comes out real nice and moist. It's a moist chicken, okay? And because I always want to give you more than what you asked for, that's how I do it. That's how you roll. We're gonna right? do. We <laughs> we're doing a. This is a red potato, red potato uh -huh. potato salad. Now, what I did was I grilled, I actually uh, blanched and grilled these potatoes last night with a couple jalapenos, okay? okay? And then I let them set overnight in the refrigerator, and what happens is they kind of get a little bit of heat from the uh, jalapenos, mm -hmm. and it gives you a really nice kind of, not an overwhelming heat, but you get a little heat off of it. We're going to add some fresh cilantro and a little bit of green onion. Okay. This is a really nice, different sort of potato salad. Little Dijon mustard and mayo, mm -hmm. and then I put a little bit of garlic in there, okay? Okay. Now, this recipe isn't online, but I'll post it in sometime. Go to the Good Life page, and we'll put it up there, okay? Because I just thought we couldn't have fried chicken without some sort of potato salad, right? Oh, yeah. Right, Anthony? Wonderful. Exactly. And those are red potatoes? Those are red potatoes, okay. yeah. And then we just blanched them, and then grilled them. And they come out. See how quick this is? You make these potatoes up in advance, and all you do is put the sauce together and throw them out. Do you like always blanch and then grill? Or I do, because yeah. I'll tell you why I do that. Is because then I know the potatoes are nice and tender, mm -hmm. and that's what you kind of want to do is make sure that they stay, you know, that they, that they that they're nice and tender, and not uh, not real, you know, like hard or not all the way done. Right. So if you do it that way, it kind of turns into kind of a roasted potato. And if you'll do the jalapeno when you when you like fry the potato or roast it, if you do the jalapeno and then you get that nice jalapeno flavor, it's not overwhelming, mm -hmm. but it gives you a little bit of heat. You've so. got the tomato too, or tomato jalapeno. No, or I really, I got you going today, don't I? I know. I've been really mean but to her today. Steve. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but no, yeah, I do. Well, one, I took the membrane out, uh -huh. not gutted it. I took the membrane out, and then the other it. one, I left the membrane in, so you get a little bit of heat with it. Okay. Like I said, a little bit of mayo and wow. a little bit of uh, Dijon mustard. And you come up with a really nice salad there. So, and I really like this chicken because I think this chicken gives you a, uh, a kind of a different option. You'll get a lot of sweetness in the breading, and also you'll get that. The brining process makes the chicken very moist. Mm -hmm. And I was saying earlier, you know, especially if you're using like a, uh, the white meat pieces of chicken, you got to get a little moisture in there. So Photo of the day. Photo of the day. I love this photo of the day. I was in Elk City, Oklahoma, uh -huh. working with one of my customers last week. These folks stopped me. I was at Prairie Fire in Elk City. And these folks stopped me, and the, her dad, Darren, uh, said to me, this is my daughter Addison. She watches you every Monday on Good Life, Good Food. They're from, actually from Wheeler. And her name is Addison Aww. Heffley. Her mother are Darren and Shalone Heffley. They live in Wheeler. Sweetest girl you ever met. And she was so, she had two brothers there. They tried, I put uh, a couple new dishes there, mm -hmm. uh, shrimp and grits, and then I did a couple macaroni and cheeses. And those kids ate the mac and cheese, and the parents tried, tried the shrimp and grits. Over at Prairie Fire in City, but oh, she that was so sweet. Good. You got to do that on <laughs> air, shrimp and so grits. Oh, his, now we're talking. His jaw dropped. It has a, whatever you said it has that. a jalapeno tequila sauce. Brother, as soon as you said what? that, I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah what? So, what? Bring so, that on. Anyways, we had a lot of fun here today doing this chicken, mm -hmm. and I want to talk about. I appreciate all your likes, and I'm really excited to get to 1500, and then we're gonna do some fun things with that. Good we'll life, there, good food. Please. Yes, sir. But I'm gonna update it in four minutes. Four minutes. We'll see where we're at. Yes. Okay. We'll be right back.